3.1 Bohr's Atomic Models Calculation. At the end of this topic, students should be able to calculate the energy of electron, perform calculation involving the right book equation, for Lyman to p fan series, due to calculate the ionization energy of hydrogen atom from Lyman series, H outline the weakness of Bohr's atomic model, and the last one is state the dual nature of the electron using the Broglie's postulate and Hesburgh's uncertainty principle. Bohr's atomic model. Bohr's atomic model as a useful tool for electron energy calculation. So as you can see, this Bohr's atomic model of a nitrogen atom, okay, proton, neutron in the middle as a nucleus, and it is surrounded by the orbit or energy level with the electron. As we've learned before this, okay, each series have different uh, ground state of energy level. For example, Lyman, the ground state will be n equal to 1, Balmer, n equal to 2, Pastian, n equal to 3, and Bracket, n equal to 4. So, meaning each first, second, and third line of each series have different transition. For example, we read the first line for Lyman will be from n2. To N1. And then second line of Lyman will be N3 to N1. Okay. So for Balmer, the first line will be N3 to N2. Okay. So the second line will be from N4 to N2. So first line of Pastian will be from N4 to N3. And second line for Pastian will be N5 to N3. So let's see the formula for Bohr's atomic model calculation. We have here energy, okay, proportional to frequency. So the first one will be delta E equal to H frequency. H is Planck's constant. Okay, frequency is equal to C. What is C? C is the speed of light over lambda or wavelength that will be the second equation substitute equation 2 in 1 so we get this equation so from Bohr's theory energy level equal to negative private constant 1 over energy level square this is the fourth equation and this formula is used to calculate the energy of electron at certain energy level. Question keywords, energy for electron at energy level 2 or energy of electron at the excited state. Only for one energy level. So, the fifth equation, delta E is equal to E final minus E initial. So, when you substitute, and then the final equation that you will get is this one. Delta E is equal to Rybert constant. 1 over N1 square minus 1 over N2 square. Where N1 will always be smaller than N2. And that N1 will always be the ground state of the series. So next formula from equation delta E equal to Planck constant and frequency. 1 and 3 here. So when we derive all this equation and then we will get this final equation 1 over lambda or wavelength equal to Rybert constant 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square where Rybert constant that we're going to use here is 1.097 exponent 7 m negative 1 per meter. It is different to the Rybert constant at the earlier of the equation, which is delta E equal to Rybert constant 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square. This Rybert constant is 2.18 exponent negative 18 joule. Ionization and ionization energy. What is ionization? It's the process of removing the electron 
from its ground state n1 to n infinity while ionization energy ie is the minimum energy required to remove one mole of electron from one mole one mole of gases atom example m gas produce m plus gas plus electron in this example one electron is removed okay so as the frequency increase the lines become closer to each other as you can see here from left to right it shows that increase in frequency so the lines here become closer and closer and closer until it become a darker line here which we, which we call as convergent limit this line becomes so close together that they merge at a point which is convergence limit and form a continuous band at this point n is equal to infinity it means nucleus can no longer hold the electron free from the attractive force of the nucleus is that no electron fall down to the lower energy level and no line will be formed. Finding ionization energy experimentally. So as you can see, this is the spectrum. What do we mean? What do we mean by the first line here? It means that the first line that is from the higher energy level to the lower energy level. This is the convergence limit, as I've already said before. Ionization energy is determined by detecting the wavelength of the convergence point. Let's see example 3.1 here. Question number 1. Okay, this is the spectrum of hydrogen as given. So the question is the Lyman, the Lyman series. So meaning that we take note of the series Lyman. What are the what is the ground state of the Lyman series? And equal to 1. Of the spectrum of hydrogen is shown above. Calculate the ionization energy of hydrogen from the spectrum. To calculate the ionization energy of hydrogen, okay, we usually we will take the convergence limit or the end of the spectrum, which is this value of lambda. So use formula delta E is equal to hc over lambda okay when we derive more we will get hc sorry hc times 1 over lambda so which is this is 1 over lambda is equal to wave number which already given in this equation so h is what h is Planck constant so Planck constant 6 6 point six two six exponent 10 to the power negative 34 joule second okay times c is the speed of light 3 exponent 8 okay meter per second second times with number of the convergence limit or the end of the spectrum okay 10.97 okay 10.97 exponent 6 per meter so you will get the answer is okay you will get the answer is 2.18 exponent negative 18 joule so in order to answer ionization energy, we must get the answer in joule per mole. So, IE equal to 2.18 exponent 10 negative 18 joule times Avogadro, which is 6.023023 exponent 23. Okay, joule per mole. So that we get the answer is 1.312 okay, exponent 6 joule per mole. So change to kilojoule. So we get 1.312 kilojoule per mole.
Example 3.1, question number 2. Calculate the energy in joules of a photon with a wavelength of 5 exponent 4 nanometer. So, in order to answer this question, we will write the formula delta E is equal to hc over lambda. But the lambda or the wavelength here must be in meter only. Meter. So, given the equation is nanometer. So, how to convert nanometer to meter? So, 5 exponent 4 nanometer. So, as we know, nano is 10 to the power of negative 9. So, 5 exponent 4 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter. So, that you will get 5 exponent 10 exponent negative 5 meter so this is your wavelength in meter after convert from nanometer so put in the formula substitute so plan constant 6.6256 okay uh, exponent negative 34 joule second c is speed of light 3 exponent Okay, exponent 8, okay, meter per second over lambda given here is 5, okay, 5 after convert, okay, after conversion, exponent negative 5 meter. So, meter here cancel, cancel, second cancel, cancel. So that final answer that you will get is 3.98 exponent, okay, exponent negative 21 joule. Okay, so this is your final answer. Example 3.1, question 3, calculate the ionization energy of hydrogen atom in kilojoule per mole. So in order to answer this question, okay, we will use this formula, delta E is equal to Rybert constant 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square okay which n1 is always smaller than n2 so n1 is usually as the ground state which is n equal to 1 but n2 okay it will be the infinity okay so delta e is equal to Rybert constant 2.18 exponent okay, negative 18 joule times 1 over 1 square minus 1 over infinity square. So 1 over infinity is equal to 0. Okay, means that we get 2.18 exponent negative 18 joule. But this answer is in joule. Question asks for kilojoule per mole. So as we know, for one atom, one atom we have, okay, times, okay, 6.023 exponent 23 atom. As we know, in one mole, we have 6.023 exponent 23 atom, okay. Oops, sorry, my mistake here, one mole, okay, times, okay, 1 kilojoule in net, meaning we have 1000 joule so this one okay atom cancel cancel joule cancel cancel so in that final answer we get 1312 kilojoule per mole However, there are some weakness of Bohr's theory. What are the weakness? First, it could predict the energy level and spectra of most atoms and ions having more than one electron. It can only explain the hydrogen spectrum and any spectrum of ions that co contain only one electron, such as H, hydrogen atom, helium plus here, as you can see, helium, one electron is removed, okay, meaning that you have here only one electron and also Li lithium ion, lithium 2 plus. 
Second, electrons are restricted to move in a certain distance around the nucleus of an atom. Yes. And the third, unable to explain extra lines form in the hydrogen spectrum. And number fourth, is unable to explain the dual nature of electron. What is the dual nature of electron? According to de Broglie's postulate, okay, not only light but all matter has a dual nature and possesses both wave and particles matter properties. De Broglie deduced that the particle and wave properties are related by the expression of okay, wavelength equal to H Planck constant over M mass and also mu to velocity. So, so light is a wave but sometimes it behaves as a stream of particles. This property is termed okay, as particle wave dualism. Okay, as you can see in the slide, okay, particles and also wave okay, and origins wavelets. Okay, refraction of particles and waves, okay, and also particles and waves reflected by a mirror. Okay, table the de Broglie wavelength of several objects. So as you can see, each substance here have different mass, speed, and wavelength, as you can see in this slide. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Okay, it is impossible to know simultaneously both the momentum p, defined as mass times velocity, and the position of particle with certainty. Stated mathematically, okay, delta x, okay, which is uncertainty in measuring the position, delta p, uncertainty in measuring the momentum. Okay, greater than or equal, H is Planck constant over 4 pi. Okay, more explanation. Both the position of the electron and its momentum okay, cannot be determined precisely at the same instant or instant time. We can know only the parameters we can measure and these measurements have a limited accuracy. We cannot know exactly where the electron is, but we can know what the probability is of finding the electron at a certain point. Okay, no calculation for de Broglie's and Hazelberg uncertainty principle.